Okay, this morning guys, we're gonna be testing the Barnes, the TAC XPD. This is a 115 grain, nine millimeter plus P. As you guys see here, they got the little fancy coating on there. Pretty long ass bullet there, sporting a nickel case. Nice little packaging here. We got all kinds of fancy stuff going on with the packaging. We could do without that. But we've tested some of these Barnes rounds before. Solid copper hollow point. We're gonna fire this today. We're gonna do the short barrel. We're gonna continue on with this short barrel out of the Glock 26. Fire through four layers of denim calibrated gel. Let's check out this new TAC XPD line. 115 grain, light for caliber load, but it is plus P. So let's see how far we can push this. We'll get velocity and all that. Let's check it out together, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that TAC XPD 9 millimeter, 115 grain. Let's check it out. In the block, let's go check it out, guys. Okay, guys, got that barn solid copper TAC XPD up out of the gel. 13 and three quarter inch penetration. I'll show you the side view on that. It was kind of deep in the gel, hard to see. So I wasn't gonna waste your guys' time there. But just to show you guys consistency here, there's the round we just fired. And a few minutes ago, my dumbass didn't turn the camera on and I fired another shot. <laughs> so as you guys see there, pretty consistent round for round. They were one after the other. That one's got a little bit of denim down in the very, very bottom of the hollow point. This one didn't. I'll show both of them close up. This one did tumble a little bit. There was a low shot. I did hit the table. Well, I didn't hit the table, but well, I, I probably did. I don't know exactly what happened on that, why that got bent back, but it was low in the gel on that one shot without the camera being on. And this was dead center shot. So once again, you guys can see comparisons shot to shot. I mean, it was only five minutes difference in the shooting here. The TAC XPD, 115 grain, 13 and three quarter penetration. The other one was 13 and a half. This one here was 13 and a half. This one was 13 and three quarter. Pretty damn good, you guys. I'll throw up velocity and I'll get that side cut on both of these so you guys can see both of them. You guys have a good one. Okay guys, here's that side cut of that Barnes TAC XPD, 115 grain, one end tearing it up. You guys see there, it develops pretty nicely. Right around the belt, a little bit before one inch. And then massive expansion. That solid copper rounds is going in there and tearing it up. Pretty massive wound track, width-wise, and across the top here. But short-lived for the distance that it did go. Looks like all the trauma happened about six, six and three quarters. And then of course it streamlined from there down to its resting spot. And there was our end result. The TAC XPD. Solid copper by Barnes. Pretty impressive round really. Remember we shot two of these. Side by side I'll get weights and measurements and post and I'll show you both of them at the end. You guys have a good one. Okay guys here at the post of that Barnes TAC XPD. 115 grain plus P little bad boy. Continuing on with the short barrel 9mm test. Using the Glock 26 you guys see right there. We shot this twice today, one time on camera, one time off camera. <laughs> First shot, uh, I didn't know if I hit the table or not. Looking at the gel, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like it was an extreme angle. It did get a little denim in that shot. Still got really good penetration. It was 13 and a half on this one. And then the shot you guys seen on camera, 13 and three quarter inch penetration. Solid copper round, guys. Really nice round, I really like this round. Deep, deep hollow points here. Deep hollow points. I'll show you in the close-ups of that. Once again, shot out of the Glock 26. Velocity, they got this thing rated at 1125. Obviously, it's probably gonna be out of a five inch barrel. This is a baby Glock. My five shot average, I'll throw it right up there. 1055, still humming along, singing the song though. Penetration, pretty decent. 13 and three quarter, 13 and a half. Wound track, pretty massive at the beginning, but then you can see, wasn't long lived about six inches in then it streamlined down to its resting spot so pretty decent round guys 115 grain plus p weights are spot on i'll throw them up there expansion really nice but 674 684 pretty good average this one here about i think 664 674 again i'll throw what i got on camera up there for you guys 
There it is, the Barnes TAC XPD, 115 grain. I like the round. Pretty decent round.